And then with the five families, uh, was it called the commission? The the group when the group got together, all the bosses got together. Well, you know, the five families are, are in New York. There are other families yeah. throughout the country. And the way I was always told, even though I never experienced this myself, because during my time after Appalachia, as you know, um, as you probably know, um, all of the commission members didn't meet, uh, you know, together because of that Appalachian deal. But there were actually nine families throughout the country. And the way you qualified to be a, a family is that you had to have a boss as become a member of the commission. Then you were recognized as a real family. So, uh, and five of those families were in New York. And New York was really always the stronghold, um, you know, for the mob here in, in America. Right, I'm actually looking it up, the Appalachian Meeting. So it was a historic meeting, uh, historic summit of the American Mafia held uh, at the home of mobster Joe the Barber in Appalachian, New York. Uh, the meeting was held to discuss various topics, including loan sharking, loan sharking narcotics trafficking, gambling. Uh, lo local, lo local and state law enforcement became suspicious uh, of the meeting. And I guess what, the meeting was somehow surveilled or, or something like that? Yeah, I think it was accidentally surveilled uh, by two state troopers at the time that happened to catch a license plate of somebody um, and it led them to this meeting in Appalachia. And after that happened and it was exposed, you know, there were a lot of bosses there and a lot of prominent people here from around the country. Uh, they decided at that point that would never happen again. They would never have a meeting like that again. And to my knowledge, um, I don't think there has been. Now, there's been meetings, obviously, um, between family members uh, from across the country, but never a, a big committee, committee meeting like that ever again. Well, yeah, I'm looking it up. More than 60 underworld bosses were detained. Correct. 60 bosses were, well, not necessarily arrested, but detained all in one place. That's correct. So was, someone, someone basically just hit the jackpot on that. On and the, and, it, and that it was situation. accident. It was an accident that they hit the jackpot, but they did. And like I said, as a result, they would never have a, a meeting like that again. Okay. Now, your father was known as the, one of the enforcers or the main enforcer for the Colombo family? Uh, well, that's what the, uh, you know, the media and law enforcement dubbed him as back in the, uh, the 50s and 60s. You know, I, I got to tell you, Vlad, you know, that was obviously I was around during the 50s and 60s. And I always wondered, you know, my father was a prominent guy in that life. There was no doubt about it. But he got so much media attention. You know, he wasn't the only guy around. I mean, that was when Carlo Gambino was around and Anastasia was around and Colombo was around and per so many guys were around at that time. And I always wondered why it was him that they really selected to go after in such a, a, a hostile way. I mean, you know, my dad was the John Gotti of his day. As a matter of fact, I believe he got more attention at his time than Gotti did. And we didn't have social media, obviously, back then. But the media coverage he got was just, it was unheard of to that point. I mean, nobody had gotten that. And I always wondered why. And I always said to him, Dad, you know, why you? And, you know, he gave me some different answers for it. So, I mean, I think law enforcement believed that. Look, law enforcement said he was responsible for 30 or 40 or 50 murders. Now, they never proved that. We've never seen any evidence of that. Uh, nobody's ever come out and said, well, Sonny Franzese killed all of these people. It was just their theory at the time. But theory almost became fact. But... Uh, we have no evidence to prove that, but somehow they believed it. Like, how many people was your dad accused of killing? Uh, formally, one. Yeah. Only one. He went to trial for uh, the alleged, um, he ordered the murder of a guy by the name Ernie the Hawk Rapolo, who was a uh, associate, you know, of the family. And he went to trial and he was acquitted. He was found not guilty. That was the only murder that my dad was ever formally accused of committing or ordering even, not even that he personally committed it. How many people was he rumored to have killed? Oh, I, I, I've read 30, 40, 50, you know, I mean, I, all these crazy numbers. But they never give names of any of them. They just said that he was rumored to kill or supposedly killed all these people. But there's no evidence and nobody's ever said anything.